Hey guys. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to properly install the brush roll and uh, belt for the uh, Central Vac Turbo Cat. Uh, this would be an air-driven um, head for like carpets if you have a Central Vac system. Um, all right, so if you're uh, already have got it apart, um, then I will instruct you on how to reinstall the brush roll. Um, but if you need to know how to take it apart, it's just the three screws here on the front. Now, um, so the trickiest part here is actually getting it installed properly. So I'm gonna walk you through those details and how to get it done um, so it, it, it installs uh, properly. So um, first of all, you've, uh, you do wanna make sure that this little bearing here is spinning freely. Um, this one here does not come apart, but some of them do. If, if it's an older model, this will slide off and you can make sure that there's, you know, it's cleaned off and spinning freely. Um, you can even drop a, a little oil, uh, you know, a little, little bit of oil in there. Um, but some of them, uh, this slides off. So, so you want to make sure that that's not um, bound up. It's spinning freely. That's basically acts as a little tensioner for the, uh, for the belt drive system. So uh, make sure that's in place. And then um, you're going to take this piece that's got this little hook on there and you're gonna slide it down um, in place there. Now with the brush roll, um, here what you have is, if you take the end caps off, you do wanna make sure that there's no hair and thread wound up inside of there. So you wanna clean those out thoroughly, um, both sides. Now um, you actually have letters on each side. So here you have an L and here you have an R and that's important because it will coincide with the um, and well let me back up a second here so the left side is going to be the one that's a little bit deeper you see how it's got a bigger cavity cut out of the plastic so your left side is for uh, for that for this uh, end cap here okay um, now you're going to slide that in and then you've got your right side slid in and so everything spins nice and freely and <clears throat> here on the uh, the head you have an L and an R okay so that's the way it's that's the way you're going to know how to install this so we got the right side over here and the left side over here first you're going to slide the belt around it like this and then you can lower it in place and you kind of have to move this gasket this little gasket material out of the way so you can slide it down in place and make sure your belt stays kind of like that it's not going to stay in place for me especially on camera when i'm recording things um so okay so slide it down in place like that make sure your belt is um in place there okay so now how we're going to install this belt if you look closely you can see there's a little diagram. So you want the under part of the belt being on the left side of this shaft and then the over part of the belt on the right side. So that means we twi we turn it this way, okay? So you have to pull it, pull it a little bit, put a little bit of tension on the belt and then slide it down in place, okay? Um, and and what, what should be the case is when you have suction, when you apply suction to the this nozzle your brush roll should be spinning directionally should, should be spinning like this because you want the debris being swept into the intake here okay so um, next you can put your uh, plastic cover piece back on uh, like this and that just slides on then you can slide that over and pop it uh, closed um, you do want to make sure that this is free and clear of any debris um, this has got a very small intake, so it's, um, the airflow intake is extremely small, so it's, it's very easy to clog up. So um, we don't recommend these, these type of heads for people who have a lot of carpeting and are having to use it a lot. We usually recommend a, a motorized power head um, for if you're using, you know, if you've got a lot of carpet in a central vac. With a central vac, um, it's best to have a um, motorized driven head. So, oh, oh almost forgetting something and then you've got to cover um, cover your belt back over just like that um, put your belt cover back on and then put your base plate on like that and put your screws back in and you are all set so I hope this is helpful and uh, let me know in the comments or hit the like button thank you have a great day